Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of August 28th. We're just going to jump right in here. Uh, you have the Phoenix and the Storm. So I feel for a lot of you, this is clearly going to be like a rebirth reading. But before I say anything, let's, you know, let's see what actually comes up here. You have the King of Swords, the uh, Emperor, and the Ten of Swords. So, yep, definitely could be a, a rebirth reading. You know, the Ten of Swords, I think, gets a bad rap. Um... You know, a lot of people think the Ten of Swords is a bad card, but this guy is dead. It does not get any worse than that. <laughs> and really, it's like a card of rebirth. The card itself says he needs to get his ass up off the ground and, you know, let something go from the past or he needs to, you know, move on from the past. And it, he's also making a symbol with his hands, which I'll show you in a minute. But that symbol, it represents a blessing in disguise, you know, or it represents a blessing in the Ten of Swords itself can be a blessing in disguise. So some sort of death that has happened in your life probably created a storm in your life, like that storm card there, definitely could have been a heartbreak, um, is leading to like a rebirth or is leading to something um, much, much better for you. So, uh, you know, uh, maybe a rebirth isn't a good way to say what this reading is. I think maybe a blessing in disguise is a better way to put this reading. Um, but I almost feel that you're actually seeing it. You know, I, I think this is something right here that has already happened. Um, you know, I think you've been through the storm. You've been, you've experienced some sort of storm or some sort of loss in your life. And now I kind of feel you're getting to the good part where you're going to, um, you know, experience success. Um, I, it doesn't look easy to me. So, you know, as I always say, things require work in life. Of course, I always get comments from people that, that are like, you said this would happen and nothing happens. And I'm always like, well, it's because you're a whiny crybaby. That's why nothing happens, number one. Number two, nothing just happens in life. Sorry if no one ever told you that, but you, you know there is no easy button in life. There is no way to just make something magically happen. So yes, you have to put in the work. Sorry if no one ever told you that. Uh, you have the King of Swords, the Emperor, and the Ten of Swords. The King of Swords, um, I, you know, the weird thing is, I almost feel like this is why you are being rewarded right here. <laughs> um King of Swords, he's very like stern and direct and straightforward, right? And, you know, I feel like for some of you, it's almost like you weathered a storm. You know, you just sat through it, whatever it was, and you didn't, it's like you didn't react. Like if this, this was a breakup, you just let it happen. It, and you were just like, whatever. Um, if this was some other type of loss, again, same thing. I think you, it's like, I'm, I'm hearing words like you really took it on the chin or something like that. So it's like you really kind of like we're a bigger person in some sort of situation. And I almost feel like this is how the universe sees you <laughs> as a boss, you know, as someone who is kind of like bossing up here and who deserves a reward. You also have the emperor in the empress. So, you know, if you want love, um, part of your reward, of course, could be, um, you know, a divine counterpart coming in for you. You have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is something is dead done over with. He's making a symbol right here with his hands. And that symbol, again, is what represents a blessing. So I do feel like something has died or has gone away in your life. Some of you, it could have felt like something, you know, died in your life, um, even if it didn't really die, you know? Like, I get that, um, you know, I get that kind of grieving type of feeling here on the Ten of Swords, but uh, clearly there's something new and better coming in for you here. So uh, let's see if we can see what that is, right? With the King of Swords, you have the star. <laughs> so uh, if you want love, by the way, it could definitely be an Aquarius. You have this Aquarius season card. You have the star. Um, this could also be you needing to dream big. You have this card right here we're going to talk about that says think bigger on it. So I definitely feel you need to take your goals, wishes, dreams, and multiply them by a 1,000. It, it will lead to more success. With the Emperor, you have the Page of Wands. Um, Page of Wands is about enthusiasm and excitement. So I feel for a lot of you, uh, that, that there's about to be, it's almost like this is also something that's coming in for you, is enthusiasm, excitement, maybe that that kind of like zest for life, you know, that um, just feeling like you can be excited about things again, feeling like you're, you are excited about things again, um, maybe even becoming more active, like all these things are popping into my head. I don't know, kind of weird reading. I'm not getting any of like the normal meanings for the cards. With the Ten of Swords, you have the Three of Cups. Yeah, it could have been a third party situation that someone put you in. Also could have just been a liar. Uh, that you were dealing with here. But, um, you know, again, other than that, I do feel that for a lot of you, there is help. Like this, going this way here would be trying to do everything on your own. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords. I feel that Ace of Swords could say, if you're, you know, starting a business or um, if you're doing something like, you know, trying to get into a new career or whatever, don't be afraid to ask for help. You can't, 
you know, you can't do everything on your own. Uh, you have this forgive card coming up next. Um, we're gonna be looking at the unexpected. You have this forgive card. You have this card that says, when organizing like to like. So it's like things are starting to match up in your, li in your life. And I feel like you're starting to notice how like you how your energy attra attracts certain things in your life. Here, I'll just show you these two cards first, <laughs> since you have three cards here. But um, I also feel that you could be forgiving a past person here. It's like you're not, I don't think you're allowing this person into your life, but there definitely could be some sort of moment of forgiveness. Uh, your most important card here is this. It just says, think bigger all the way around it. By the way, this is the Mani Manifesting uh, Your Greatness deck by Amy Chase. I love this deck and you know, it just says think bigger on it. So I feel that you need to take your dreams, your goals, which is dreams and multiply them by a thousand uh, because that's where all your success will come from. I do, I really see a lot of success coming in at this time. And it's like, it it is something, you know, they're like probably more success than you've ever experienced. But again, I want to stress that I do believe this is gonna require work because you have the 10 of Pentacles and the 10 of Wands and the Page of Cups. I mean, sorry, the two of Pentacles. The two of pentacles is work hard, play hard. So I feel like you are going in a period of time where you're going to be wearing a lot of hats, spinning a lot of plates. But again, I would also make sure that you're focused. If you can't focus on something, you know, get someone else to do it. I think that, you know, it'll be very, very important and just definitely um, will speed things up for you. You have the 10 of wands and the 10 of wands is about carrying a heavy burden. Um, but again, I feel you need to ask for help because we have this right here. You probably don't want to ask for help because we have this right here. What happens if you know someone comes into my business and messes things up? What happens if I ask for help with my with love from my friends and my friends tell me, well, you, you don't have love because you're a hunchback. What happens if that happens, right? So these are all ridiculous fears that are floating around in your head and I think you need to crush these fears or these worries that you could have about like getting help or asking for help because it's only slowing you down. Trust me, I always get some brave, independent person leaving me comments about how they do everything on their own and how everyone has hurt them and blah, wah, 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 right? And I'm always like, well, great. We, we are never gonna see your name on the Forbes 100, are we? Because guess what? None of those people did things on their own. So again, it's not brave. It's not independent. It's not anything to not ask for help. We're also in a period in a time of um, co-creation. So, you know, we are in a time where the most spiritual thing you can do is get help from other people and allow them to help you because when you increase their abundance, it increases your abundance as well. You have the page of cups, which could be love. So I do feel that there could be love coming in for you. Of course there is. And, you know, again, you could be attracting someone very attractive or this is you. It's probably both people here because you have the emperor and the empress and there could be a lot of competition for this person and you <laughs> and but i feel like you know again you probably you have this like with like card it's you know they say like matches like so you know i feel for a lot of you, you could be attracting a lot of matches at this time i i do feel with that like with like card there that it's really important if you want something that you become an energetic match to it with the two of pentacles you have the ace of pentacles a very big opportunity here um this could be a business opportunity a lot of aces this is crazy um it, like I, this week, so many people have had a bunch of aces again. So, you know, it definitely could be one of those periods of time where, you know, sometimes this happens and I almost look at aces kind of as portals because they're like opportunities that we have to grab onto. You don't just get an ace, right? You have to grab onto the opportunity and make it happen. But it's almost like a portal time where if you grab the opportunity, it's going to take you somewhere else. With the Ten of Wands, what do you know? <laughs> you have the Empress, definitely a lot of success coming in for you. Uh, I feel like a lot of abundance coming in for you here as well. With the Page of Cups, you have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a card of, um, you know, Queen of Wands, the, she normally has a, wand, uh, sorry, a sunflower that points towards the sun. And, I, and she also has a wand, but, you know, I feel like you need to move towards your joy and happiness. But I was getting something with that Page of Wands as well about how mm, it's almost like a reward you know, it's kind of weird <laughs> because it's almost like the universe is rewarding you with happiness. I don't know. It's so weird. Um, you know, I don't think it works like that, but whatever. Okay. Uh, you know, it's like the, the universe is bringing you something to be excited about. You know, Ace of Wands is out with the old, in with the new, but it is a card of excitement. It is a card of, you know, kind of that, you know, I always look at it as something very inspirational that it, it's like having an idea that you get so excited about, you wake up at like three o'clock in the morning because you're so excited to work on it. You know, it's like Christmas day type of energy here, you know, is what I'm getting on that ace wand. So, you know, if you're getting excited by a new p a person, place or a thing or an idea or whatever, I would move towards whatever that is. Um, there you go. 
Uh, next, in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this Gemini season card. It says the answers you seek are coming. Stay flexible in your approach. We are, you know, we are in a time of flexibility. All this energy in Taurus, I would be as flexible as you possibly can be. Um, you have this Aquarius season. It says you are ahead of time. Make decisions based on the social good. What do you know? We were talking all about kind of like working together with other people. So, you know, anything you can do to uh, work together with other people to, you know, get them to help you to get their advice or whatever. And again, it's not about you. It's more about them. Because uh, again, when you increase their abundance, you're just increasing your own abundance. You can increase their abundance just by asking for advice. And then they feel good because you they gave you advice, right? You have the Ace of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Three of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a truth and a victory. I definitely feel there's a big victory coming in for you here. Um, the Ace of Swords can also be a sacrifice. There's a palm frond right here. And palm fronds in the tarot uh, can represent sacrifices. They can represent making a sacrifice as well. So, um, but it usually just represents, you know, this reading to me, we go, we have the Ten of Swords here. So it's like you're releasing part of your past self so that you can step into, you know, your empress or your emperor energy, whichever one it is, or both, really, if you want. And, um, you know, I feel like you're kind of releasing things so you can become, you know, something that you truly are. You have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is conflict and competition. But again, you know, to me, the Five of Wands, these people are learning how to fight. They are not fighting. Um, you know, they're using sticks. They're not using swords. So I always say this is a card of learning how to fight. It also says that you can learn from competition. You don't have to take part in competition. Uh, also, I call this card Indiana Jones because, you know, really, it's kind of like a card of going on a crazy adventure to get some sort of reward. And, you know, there could be a reward on the other side of some competition or something like that. Again, you can enter into a competitive, um, you can enter into something where there is a lot of competition and you can choose to co-create. Like YouTube is a great example. Tons of competition on YouTube, but you don't have to take part in the competition. You can choose to just create videos and co-create and, and with other people and get help from other people and that's it, right? <laughs> and if you do that, you will be more successful. You have the Three of Swords. I do feel some of you like a past person is kind of messing you up here. Uh, so it could be like a past uh, Empress or Emperor type person that you thought was an Emperor in the, or an Empress, but they really weren't. So, you know, again, it looks to me like there's something new that could be healing you that's coming in for you here. So, you know, it might be time to let go of the past. With the Ace of Swords, you have the Ace of Swords. So basically the universe saying I meant what I said, definitely a victory. And with the Five of Wands, you have the Three of Swords. Mm, you know, someone could have been taken from you by a third party or by competition, or you suspected there was competition. I have a weird story popping into my head here. Like if you uh, it's like, do you, I feel, you know, I feel like saying to you, do you really need closure? <laughs> you know, it's like, one of those things where you might think that you want closure in a situation, but I feel like you already know what happened. You know, you already know that there was a third party. You already know that, you know, something happened with a person. So again, do you really want to hear that? Or, you know, can you just uh, move on and let it go, right? Um, with the Three of Swords, you have the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork makes a dream work again. So, you know, anything you can do to work with other people, I'm telling you right now, it'll just make you 10 times more successful. Uh, I would also be focusing on the quality of the work that you're doing which I think that you would, but, you know, Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work. And it says, you know, if you produce quality work, you will get more attention. We have the Empress here twice, which is kind of like a glow up, but, you know, could also be getting attention. So, you know, I'm a big fa fan of getting as much attention as you possibly can right now. Um, and for the next like 20 years with Pluto moving into Aquarius, we really need to, you know, get as much attention as we possibly can. Uh, next, you have this puffer fish card. It says, know your limits, your boundaries. Uh, then you have this blue lobster. It says, you're one in a million. Embrace your rarity. There you go. So you are special, Capricorn, if no one's ever told you that. And I feel like you need to kind of act like you are special, you know, in a lot of ways. Sometimes I think if you just act like you're special and unique, then you are. And, you know, you've done a lot of work here. It looks like maybe uh, going through this storm that has been a part of your life, that very first card. And, you know, because you've been through that, that has been something that has, you know, made you harder, made you stronger in some way. And I feel that, you know, not everyone in love deserves your energy. So definitely something to think about. I also feel like you could probably dream and think bigger, like that think bigger card says. It's like you've been through some very difficult things. You know, it's, it's funny because I always say to people, you know, people always come to me and stuff and 
they always tell me all these difficult things that they've been through and then they'll say something about like some sort of fear that they have that's like th this big compared to what they have been through in life, right? And I'm always like, what are you afraid of? <laughs> You've already been through way worse. What, what you are worrying about is this big, right? And so it's like, sometimes I think, you know, we can have some trauma if we had a bunch of traumas in life, but what you need to realize is that you made it, you survived. So that should make you feel stronger and like you can conquer the world. And I really feel that this, em this empress in your reading, even though you have two, I feel like she is able to conquer the world. And it doesn't matter what gender you are, but I feel for a lot of you, you need to believe in yourself with this energy. I do see a lot of abundance and a lot of happiness um, coming in for you here. So I really do like this. You have the moon, uh, definitely a very dreamy moon, moon periodish time, right? Um, where it's like there, you know, we have these retrogrades. We have the moon at the end of the month, you know, the second full moon for this month, and you know, it is a period of time where it's like maybe we don't have all the answers, but the moon is part of the fool's journey, and the fool he just has to keep going down the the card, the center of the moon card, this pathway right here, um, because then he will reach these mountains, and those mountains represent success for him. They represent kind of like some sort of achievement. So I feel in a lot of ways that you just have to keep pushing forward. You have the three of wands, or sorry, the ace of wands. Ace of wands is a card of, you know, an exciting new opportunity. That's what I feel for you. It is kind of like out with the old, in with the new. There's a castle that's crumbling right in the back there, which again is out with the old, and then this is in with the new. I do feel like there could be something very, you know, there's like something more inspirational entering into your life where you feel inspired to take action. Again, you know, the Ace of Wands is like the root going down on the soil. You plant the seed, Ace of Pentacles, and then this is the root, like kind of like that spark of life that, um, you know, kind of that, um, yeah, that, that uh, you know, like I said, the root going down onto the soil. So, you know, it's almost like there's this spark that is being produced here in your reading. Let's see where this is going. Uh, with the Empress, you have the Page of Cups, definitely an emperor or empress coming in for you at this time if you want love. No, it could be any sign. No, you know, you have fire, water, um, you have Aries, you have Taurus, could be any sign. Um, with the moon, you have the ten of swords. Um, you know, again, I feel you need to let those fears from the ten of swords go. It's kind of funny that I said that. It's like, you know, the things that happened to you in the past, this big. The things that you're worrying about now, this big. <laughs> so, um, you know, I feel like you need to know that, you know, believe deep down inside that you have developed the tools to handle, you know, whatever comes your way. So it's like the thing, the worries that you have even are just so small, I wouldn't even worry about them. With the Ace of Wands, you have the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is about carrying a heavy burden, but I also feel that the Ten of Wands is a card of getting to the end of a very long journey, um, one where you've been carrying a lot of burdens. So I see a lot of success coming in for you and definitely a lot of abundance as well. Uh, we're gonna pull five main themes. You have this Eyes of the Eagle, it says ri rising above the fray. You know, the eagle is kind of, you is interchangeable with the phoenix. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you um, that there could be some sort of rebirth going on here. I also feel that this is saying that you need to rise above the just everything going on in the world and you need to get like a bird's eye view. I do feel a bird's eye view would be very important for you uh, with this energy. And so, you know, um, kind of like seeing, you know, the big picture. You have the star card, which is definitely a card of seeing the big picture. You have the king of pentacles here. King of Pentacles, of course, is you. So you, you know, well, really it's Taurus, but you know, it could be you in this reading. And I feel that you are kind of very focused on f your financial stability, or you are trying to create more financial stability um, in your life. I see a lot more success coming in for you with this King of Pentacles as well. Um, you know, like a lot more abundance or something is going on here. Um, you know, a lot more stability. I would be careful of just getting stuck in the way things have always been done. You know, he's a card of convention, but the problem with convention right now is we need to kind of reinvent ourselves. We need to try new things. So don't be afraid to try new things. Uh, you have this owl card. So I feel like you've gained a lot of wisdom, probably through the storm, you know, that you went through in the past. And, you know, again, I would use that wisdom. Don't, you know, turn your pain into, you know, progress. Turn your pain into success is what I would say here. Uh, you have the fire card. Uh, could be a fire sign coming in for you, but I also see, we see a lot of creative energy in this reading, Ace of Wands, Emperor, the Empress twice. So, you know, anything you can do to breathe life into something would be a really good idea. Um, it's like things are heating up in your life uh, I and I would start taking action. I would also start adding energy to things that you might think you m might be interested in doing in your life. That will be very beneficial. You have a Sky Dancer, it says surrender. <laughs> I feel like it, don't try to control 
outcomes in your that can't be controlled. I feel like this is saying the more the more you try to control something and hold on to it, the more likely it is to leave. The more you just like let things go and let things happen, uh, the more likely it is that you will be very successful. And that's exactly what I think you need to do here, Capricorn. But this is a pretty straightforward reading. Love it. I think you need to think bigger as well, but looks good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.